What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugar. <laughs> oh, boy, he's back again, man. And today I'm going to talk about um, the football team has signed quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick to a one-year deal, yo. Oh, bro. Um, before I get the deal, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, um, so feel free to DM me, and whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come high at your boy, yo. I must say, man, I must say, um, I thought early in free agency that Washington had a real shot at getting Cam Newton. Um, you know, obviously he's familiar with Ron Rivera, played with him for a bunch of years, um, was an MVP under his tutelage. Um, you know, I just thought that that was just the obvious choice that Washington was going to go. But to my surprise, um, New England wanted Cam back for another year, um, and he signed with them for one more year, which, you know, kind of left Washington a little bit in limbo as far as a quarterback. Um, considering, though, the circumstances, who was out there, and, you know, not knowing if Houston really going to trade Deshaun Watson or Seattle trading Russell Wilson, um, I think they got a good, a good quarterback for, like, the situation that they're in. Um, a guy to come in for a year and just hold it down until, you know, they figure out their quarterback situation. Um, you know, Tyler Heineken, I called him Heineken, but he played well, so I got his name right. I'll call him his name Heine, um, Heineken, um, Henneke, whatever his name is. Um, you know, he played well in a playoff game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, moved the ball up and down the field was surprisingly out of all the quarterbacks that faced that Tampa Bay defense, Drew Brees, you know, Aaron Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes, he actually played the best against them. Now, I know Tampa didn't have Devin White that game, but he actually had the most success against that defense. Um, but you're not quite sure if he's the guy or he should go into the season as a starter. And Ryan Fitzpatrick is a good, you know, match for the um, – Washington football team. Clearly, as an Eagle fan, like, I'm not looking forward to seeing them. <laughs> like, I'm going to just call it what it is. Um, the last two times we went up against him, he absolutely destroyed us. He looked like the greatest quarterback of all time. Um, a couple of years ago, he was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and, you know, he shredded us for 400-something yards. Um, and then the following season, he was with the um, – the Miami Dolphins, a bad Miami Dolphins team, and he shredded us again. <laughs> so this is a guy that we haven't had much success going up against. Now, what's the difference now is Jim Swartz isn't the D coordinator. You know, we got a young defensive coaching staff, um, so it should probably be a different scheme. Um, but, you know, Jalen Mills is not on our team anymore, who is somebody that Ryan Fitzpatrick – picked on a lot you know in those two matchups um so you know um there it is man we got to go up against him again um in a washington um uniform i think that's a good signing for washington considering the circumstances now granted is he's the, the long-term solution at quarterback obviously not um is heineke the, the long-term solution at quarterback Probably not, but that's that's still yet to be determined. Um, the fact that they went out and signed the Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, who I think is going to be the starter, by the way. I don't think he's coming in to back up Heineke or nothing like that. I think he's coming in to be the starter for a year. And if he plays bad or gets injured or whatever, you could go to Heineke for a year. Um, but I think that considering, like I said, considering the circumstances, you know, it's a big sign. It's a good signing for them because I don't think that they believe Heineke is the guy. Um, now, you know, for the future, they got to figure out that position. Um, you know, they had a colossal bust in Dwayne Haskins, which is unfortunate for them. Um, Alex Smith was a guy that when they signed him a few years ago, someone who they thought could have been the quarterback for a few years, but we all know the devastating injury that he had. And, you know, he did a brilliant job, just a magnificent job of being able to get himself back on a football field last season. But 
clearly with his health concerns and everything, you know, he's not a long term solution. So that's something that Washington still have to figure out going forward. But I hate to admit it. I think that's a good sign for them. And I'm I, I'm not looking forward to facing that guy. I hope this year we could finally smack him around a little bit, yo. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 5 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. I'll tell you, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.